Hello, everybody. It's me, BB, back again with another talented, talented artist. I am here today with a young gentleman named Street Murder. And we're going to find out where he got his name from and all of that stuff. Um, I, he was referred to me from my boys, you know, the Song Battle League. Those are, those, are, those are my boys. I watched you last night. You rocked. Listen, tell us about you. Tell, first of all, I want to know, where, how did you come up with your name? Well, <clears throat> my name came from basketball, actually. Okay. Uh, you know, I always played street ball in a lot of places, so that's where the streets came from. Okay. And then the murder came from music from, you know, I used to do a lot of battles and I was murdering people. So I just put them two together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Simple. Right. That makes sense. I love it. I love it. So how did you start? How did you start? Streets. I'm going to call you Streets. How did you start? What made you start rapping? How did it all start? Uh, I started from, from jokes, actually. Back in the days, my friends used to just, you know, Young kids joking on each other. Ah, look at your hair. Look at this. And one day they got me. I used to DJ. So one day they got me real good. They was all dissing on me. And I, I used to live in Brooklyn in Canarsie. And I went back to my DJ equipment, grabbed the microphone and all those feelings. I just put them into words. And I came back to the block. And, you know, I said all the, you know, I put it in a rhyming form. But it was jokes. It wasn't meant to be rhymes. It was meant to be jokes. And everybody like, oh, shit, like, oh, shit, you heard what he said? And, you know, but my friends back then, you know, I had a friend Edwin and friend Sean. They was like, had all the new stuff when Vanson's like, you know, so they would get on people and they would also lie. Be like, yo, them sneakers is fire, but they really be whack. So when they were, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So when they were telling me my lyrics was good, I thought they was joking, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, since then, you know, I just kept doing it and I started writing poetry. Okay. So that's what kind of transformed my jokes into rapping when I started learning how to do poetry. Um, but I did feel poetry wasn't masculine enough for me. I didn't have the heart to let people hear my poetry, even though it was good. You know, that was the young, the young, immature thinking that I had. Then I just turned it into music and, and just started going from there. I remember... Uh, I was listening to the radio one night when they used to play like new artists and stuff. And I stole one of my deep songs and that shit came on the radio like the, like two weeks after I stole the shit. And, and I heard Bass, he had a similar situation. So it was like kind of crazy. I, I was telling him like, yo, I stole this nigga prodigy shit. And now he's on the radio. So people like, yo, he stole your shit. What you going to do about it? I'm like, man, he could have it. You can have that shit. <laughs> Lord, it. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. All right. He'll pay me later. I got it. Yeah. I yeah, you it. already know. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. And how old were you then when you first like really realized that you know I'm I'm a, I'm gonna do this, you know? Well, when I came to that conclusion to take it serious, I had to been around fourteen. I had to be about 14. When I was doing the joking and, and uh, when my friends was joking, I was definitely like 12. Wow. And I took it a little more serious around 14. I'm, 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 I'm touching 30 right now, so that'll give an estimate of how long I've been doing it. It's been over okay, 25 years. So. Yeah, you see that. <laughs> okay, okay. And did you like, um, did you rap through high school? Did you like... Uh, when you were in high school, were you in talent shows and stuff like that? Nah, um, through junior high school and high school, I was just doing like battles in the street and stuff. Okay. I didn't really participate in the school too much because I still didn't have, I still felt like people were lying to me because mm -hmm. I haven't met nobody that said like, yo, you need to work on this or everybody like, yo, you nice, you nice. So I didn't really feel confident. Mm -hmm as far as uh, showing my talent in school and stuff like that. But after I got out of school, I was, I was on it. Like, I, I was on it. Where were you raised? Where were you, uh, where are you from? I'm born and raised in Harlem, uh, Broadway on the west side. Okay. Uh, I moved down to Brooklyn, and I lived in Virginia. I lived in the Bronx. I lived in all boroughs, but I'm, I'm a Harlem baby. Born in Harlem Hospital. All right now. So do you think you got your um like your style 
would you say you got your style from all the places you've been or you got your style from one specific place? Like this I think is my style, style, I think, like in different places, it's a different style. Even from Brooklyn and the Bronx, sometimes it's a different style. It, it is. I actually got a song and it, I did it when I was in the Bronx. But like you said, different boroughs got different styles. So it was like I did Streets from Harlem, Murder from the Bronx. Mm. And, you know, I did a song like that because, you, you know, they do rap kind of different. So mm. I definitely, uh, but my style, I believe, came from watching Jay-Z and Nas. Like those were my two favorite rappers at, you know, for a long period. And I would emulate them. So that's where my style mostly came from. No, that's two great rappers. I love both of them. Jay-Z is um, my, one of my favorite. He is probably my favorite um, rapper, too. So. You know, yeah, definitely. His whole package, you know, his whole package. So um, now how about shows? Have you been doing a lot of shows? And, you know, is that <clears throat> like I know some artists, they rather be in a studio. Some artists rather do shows. You like to do a lot of shows. Well, not now, because uh, like I said, I've been doing it for like so long, mm -hmm. but I have done plenty of shows. I did a show with Jewels. I did a show with Jay Mills. I did a show with pretty much everybody and Dipset, they're like literally two blocks away from me, oh, from okay, where they grew okay, up. Okay. So I, I definitely performed with them. I've done shows in Jersey, Virginia, you know. But after, you know, a lot of work putting in and not receiving much back, that kind of deterred me from doing too many shows. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're independent and, you know, spending money, pressing up CDs, flyers, giving out free t-shirts, I was like, man, this is too much. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to just stick to me. I'm not going to, you know, but Music was never my dream. It's just always been a hobby anyway, so. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you just, what what made you realize that, um, isn't, I don't, is it a hobby to you still now? Definitely. It's still a hobby to you now. So I mean, I love it, though. But I get it. It doesn't really pay the bills. It's, I, I get it. And I get it. But what gives you inspiration to keep going on? I mean, one, you know, it is my hobby and I love my hobbies and um, I like the competition in it and I just like creativeness, uh, you know, because I'm into arts and anything, you know, graphic wise and stuff like that. Anything with music, I do love. It's just I wasn't really trying to pursue it. But, mm -hmm. you know, some of my family, my friends keep me going and hearing new music. But I think it's mostly the beats. If I hear a beat I like, I'm I'm on it. Like. That's it. I, you know, that's enough for me to. You make beats. Yourself. I do. You do make beats. Yes, most most artists, rappers now, are also doing a production side. That's great. And you said, um, like, do you do graphics and stuff like that? Because I see a lot of that on your page. I I really would like to come together with you and learn some stuff. You know, because um, I I do know gra some graphics. I use um, uh, Photoshop and you know I use some things. Some things I, I'm learning to use, but um. I um, we definitely could work together, definitely. Yeah, I would love that. I seen uh, this little thing you had on your page. And you told me it was your brother and it popped up, looked like a file. Oh my God, I think that was like super, super high. You know? Um, Appreciate it. Yeah, that, that, that was, I was like, I like that. But um, <laughs> that's that's what it is. So what? how did you get involved with um, the um, SBLA? S, no, SBL. The SBL? Yeah. Um, uh, thank God to COVID-19, you know, it's a tragic and a blessing in the same note, because if it wasn't for me being stuck in the house, I would have never got involved with it because I did actually stop doing music. And I'm like, you know, I seen the post come up and I'm like, damn, I got like 300 songs recorded and I got free time. I might as well do something with it, you know. And uh, I've, I hit Baz up and, you know, he put me in. then. I hit my boy Snap. I'm like, yo, you should get involved. He's like, man, I'm a part of the management team. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, but yeah, small world. But yeah, I, definitely me being stuck in the house in the COVID-19, it gave me the opportunity to have the time to be involved with this, with the SBL. Man, that's good. For those who don't know, I say it on most of my shows, SBL is the Song Battle League. Um, there's some young brothers that got together and they designed a platform for young artists to be to a platform for them to showcase to to battle and um it's i think they're in this their third their third season 
and um, it all started during this pandemic. And it's wonderful to see, you know, artists going to everybody, you know, people need to see it. And I promote it because everybody is so respectful. And I mean, you know, you hear so much stuff about young people and, you know, inner city. Everybody is respectful to each other. And last night I heard a brother from Ohio. Then I think the other day a brother from Compton. And mm -hmm. I just um, uh, showcased um, um, GP, which she's amazing. She's just humble, her whole attitude. You know, and it's, it's nice to see that. You know, and, and I feel like we need, and I know a lot of people are doing it, but a a lot of people not doing it like that. And um, I, I support them. And I say it each show, you know, I, I support them 100% because I love those dudes and I, I believe in them because um, they love what they do and they're true to what they do. So, you know, they definitely have my vote. I stay up late, like listening, taking my little notes, but it's, it's, a, it's a good thing because I want to support and I see some really, really good stuff. But let me just tell you, so the other night when you did your creative one, oh my God, I fell out you I was like if you could see I, I sometimes I'm not that quick like I, I'm not that quick with my phone like I really wish I could have took a picture of Bass because he threw Bass off Bass didn't know you was going to do that <laughs> well he knew I was going to do it but he wasn't sure because I was I actually was trying to get the whole costume I was trying to get like the nightgown and you know uh but it, you know my time was running late so I did tell him I wasn't able to get the get the wig because I did want him to be surprised as well. So. Oh, he was. His face was priceless. He was just like, what? And I was like, it was so creative and it was about gossip, you know, and it was just perfect because you always have that person in the hood that's a person in any neighborhood that's just the gossip, like telling everybody right. business. I thought that was so that's what's called creative. You took that and you turned that into something very creative. And that's what it's all about. You know, like I think sometimes with the artists, they don't stick to the categories. Like, you know, they street song be like mellow and love song. <laughs> you, be for right. the ladies, you know, but you took that like, boop, and you was like, okay, I was like, I was dying. I said, this is so creative. That takes a lot of nerve. That takes, you know, you got to, if, if, when this all comes together, I hope, I, I'm sure they will take it to another level of doing performances live. You would have to do that. That was just. Well, I, I got something a little more creative that's coming on my next battle. If that made you laugh, you're going to, you're going <laughs> to cry when you see this next one. Like I, I was, it. I was actually going to do it yesterday, but I didn't have uh, enough time to get the stuff I needed. And when is your next time you battle? Uh, we find out tonight. Uh, tonight we find out who advances and who they battle next. Oh. Are they going live tonight? Huh? Are they going live tonight? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I think he's just going to do like a conference call and let the artist know oh, okay. he might go live. But okay. I know he was waiting for the uh, rest of the judges' uh, opinions. Okay, so I'm going to find out because I'm going to air this when when that battle comes on, if it's not, uh, like if it's next week or something like that, because I would love to do that. So let me ask you, so now, so you have the battle, you have, um, you got your creative juices flowing. So now where are you going to go with this? What do you want to do? Uh, so I don't want to battle no more. Okay. Uh, and I only say that because one, I'm a part of the management team now and I want to more help them on the inside instead of me participating in a battle. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get in the battle to get a feature with goods like most people did. I didn't do it for the money either. I did it, like I said, because I had the time to and it's my hobby. So, mm -hmm. you know, after this, I'm going back to working on my projects because I put all my stuff on hold to work with this. Uh, I shoot videos. Uh, I make beats for certain people, and I'm also working on my second album as we speak. So that's where my, my attention is going to go on focusing on me a little more and putting myself out. Okay. Are you a part of the movie that they're doing? Are you a part of that also? I am. I'm, I'm writing some of the scripts. I'm, I've done I'm, did some of the graphic work for it, and... Okay. I'm gonna be shooting a lot of it. We're actually shooting uh, Saturday. We're gonna start shooting some 
movie scenes for that Saturday. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I got my hands all in it. I see, I love it. Um, <laughs> so because you are multi-talented and you are not just rapping, you're, you're, you're the whole package, you're an entertainer and you're an artist because you, um, you're an entertainer because I see what you did <laughs> and I know that. <laughs> and then you're an artist because I see the graphics, I see, so you're like the whole package, you have a lot to work with. So, you know, you got a lot of, choices I should say or angles you know that you want to go I'm, I'm excited about the movie also um I can't you know one one day when they have a, a shoot I will come and see it you know see what you guys are doing but um I'm just excited about the whole you know we need that we need love we need like we need to not always see oh this one's shooting this one in Brooklyn because that's not all that our neighborhoods is about. Yes, that is a problem. That is a major mm -hmm. problem. But it's not. It's 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 not all that we about. You know, I lived in the hood all my life, and I've seen a lot of love in the hood. You know, people loving each other, people taking care of each other, brothers and sisters showing each other mm -hmm. much love. So we need to show that in the world. You know, I agree. Definitely. I, I just had a conversation with a friend, and I was telling him like. You know, he wanted to go to uh, to Las Vegas. And I'm like, did you ever go to Africa? He's like, nah, man, they, they chopping people up and stuff over there. And I'm like, that's not all that's over there. You know, it's, it's nice over there in certain parts. You know, it's not just the crazy parts that people publicize, you know. Right, right, right. Because that, that's just like, I mean, I lived in Brooklyn for a couple of years. Um, I've been in most boroughs, uh, you know, you know, I have family in all boroughs, so I know about most boroughs. But Brooklyn has so much love and diversity that it gets lost in, oh, the killings. And that's a small part of what goes on in Brooklyn. Brooklyn right, is a very, small part. Very, yeah, a very small part. Brooklyn is very diverse. You know, if you're an artist, they have places you can still go and and perform and showcase. They don't have that in, in many boroughs. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a whole lot of good stuff a lot of black ownership black and brown ownership in brooklyn that you can't always find in a lot of other boroughs so yeah it's some good stuff you know especially so, with this gentrification going oh, on over here Hold on. i don't even recognize brooklyn no more and bass can tell you i lived in brooklyn for a while i don't i can't i don't even know my way around brooklyn anymore because <laughs> it looks so different i have to call somebody and say well i how do I get here? And I knew Brooklyn. I was raised in the Bronx, but I knew Brooklyn better than the Bronx. But now mm. I don't know anything about Brooklyn. Let me just ask you this. Okay. Um, if you could have a compilation CD or collaborate, collaborate with an artist, who would it be? Any artist? Like industry or? Industry. Any artist. Currently, uh... It would probably be Jay Z and Nas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it, it probably would be. And that's not that's not what what do you like about Jay Z? I like I like his wordplay. I like his wittiness, his delivery. Uh, I pretty much like like even his voice. Like you know, he just has a, a thing with him with you know how he delivers the message he's trying to get across. Uh, but I look at him more, uh, I don't want to say he's more lyrical. I would say like Nas is more deep okay. and Jay-Z is a little more street and I'm a little more street. So I kind of like that part about him, like the things he choose to talk about and stuff, his topics. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what gravitated me towards him. Just listening to Jay-Z, when you came in, I was listening to, um, what was I listening to? Because I am I am definitely a Jay Z like uh really, really fan. I never really heard a Jay Z song I didn't like. Um, right. Right. I listen to uh Legacy, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I am yeah, I get it. <laughs> I one hundred percent get it. So now who um who inspires you the most? Out of an artist, like an yeah. artist. Let's talk about life and life. Who inspires you the most? It's going to sound crazy, but I think it's me. I think I inspire myself more than, than anybody. I do get uh, support from family and friends, but there's nobody that's pushing me to do anything. 
or, you know what I mean? Like, I push myself to do pretty much whatever I can. But I think more so what inspires me is opportunities. If I see an opportunity, like the Song Battle League, that inspired me to, now I'm doing songs that I wouldn't have done. You know what I mean? Like, right. so and, that's definitely. And it's nice that you know, you know that that is the opportunity. You know what I mean? Like that is, I've, I've asked people to join the Song Battle League and they're like, I have a whole, like I know a whole lot of little young rappers and, um, and I kind of sometimes feel they're not ready and they might get intimidated and it's okay. You know, when I say, oh, you should join that. I'm like, no, oh, I'm not a battle rapper. I'm like, listen, I don't know if Baz ever told you the days we used to have battles in the studio. Oh my God. Oh, it was so amazing. <laughs> that is like, you know, just to, that's why I, I can't wait till they do this and it's live and because it's the, the energy is really, really crazy, you know, and it's, and it's good energy and I would love to see that. Well, Street, yeah. I am going to say to you, I'm going to find out tonight, I guess, what day uh, you're going to perform, because you're definitely going to be performing. I know that. Um, you already know. <laughs> uh, just by, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm one of the judges, but I don't know. But from what I heard, I would anticipate that you will definitely um, have a slot. You know? Yeah, I have to... Uh... You know, like that last creative thing, I, I'm hoping it set a bar for people to understand what creativity is because exactly. I didn't want to put on a wig. The song alone is creative, but I just yeah. hope that the wig helped them understand, you yeah. know, I was imitating an old lady, kind of. It actually, I was imitating Pearl from 227, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think they get it, and you're right, and maybe they'll get like, okay, I can be really, really creative, you know, like, this is what being creative means, not your regular song, something that's like outside of the box, you know, so listen, I, I hope, I, I'm looking forward to it, um, it was just, it just, and, and then it's, it's gotten better, the flow, the timing, everything is getting better and better and better, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. You I know? definitely appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming on, spending the time with me because I, you know, I, I'm i trying to get all the support and I'm trying to put people out there and, you know, and only thing I could do is grow, you know, so I'm looking for growth and, um, and, and the artists are, are, are enjoying it and I like the platform mm -hmm. because it gives artists a chance to like you just you know you're not right you're just chilling you're telling your story you know you just and I love it and that's 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 what it's about too. You know? It's definitely a good feeling, like, even when I seen, because me and GP been talking about uh, working on some songs, we actually, you know, sat in the studio and picked out some beats and stuff, but even me watching her interview, you know, it was a good feeling, because, yeah. like, I know her, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to learn. Yeah, yeah, and see, if you know, if you know Baz and Spook, you know me. I, I've known Spook since I was in junior high. Right. So if you know them, it's the same love because we were really around each other a, a really a, a lot. And we, we learned from each other. I was older than them, but they I learned a lot from them also. So that's how we are. And GP, she made everybody I've interviewed from they just make it so Ugh, I just can't tell you the love. You know what I mean? I mean, you mm -hmm. kept going back and forth, but I knew, I was like, I'll get them in. It's just that, you know, my schedule, I have a lot of stuff going on all of a sudden, you know? At first, I was, I didn't have much going on, but now it's like, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. You know, people are calling me to do things for them and, you know, hiring me to do stuff. So it's, it's, God is good. And like you said, you see the opportunity and you take it. And I love it, you know? So I look forward to, hearing from you, seeing you, and we're definitely going to do something on um, that definitely graphics and stuff because I would love to um, to learn more, you know? Yeah, I, I could definitely show you some, some shit that would be real simple and you're going to be like, oh, shit, like, this is it? Like, so I definitely <laughs> got you, like... <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Listen, I want I want to learn because um, some things are simple, but some things are just not that simple. You know, I I, I used to be really good at Photoshop, but I'm I'm rusty. I have to like take a little class here and there to figure it all out. The program I use is nowhere near as good as is is of uh, Photoshop and Adobe and all that. It's like. I, I'll tell you when we get off of here. But it <laughs> the gets the job secret. done, right? But it gets it done, yeah. and it's. Yeah, because yeah. Photoshop is good, but people don't understand. It's like, it's a lot. First of all, in Photoshop, 
you can do one thing about three different ways. So it's kind of your way that you decide to do it because there's so many different ways to do things in Photoshop and Adobe, you know, but it's just, it's, if you away from it, it's hard to catch on. Some of these other apps, some of these other apps I could catch on like, but uh, Photoshop would be like, uh, how do you do that again, you know? But anyway, stream. No, I'm going to send, send, send you the link. Okay, I thank you. I look forward to seeing you. Um, you know, on the battle and, uh, you know, I know you're going to do some wonderful things and, um, I look forward to seeing that. Even if it's not, even if it's not on, on a, a rapper, I, I, I see other things. You know? I appreciate it. You know, I I'm trying to, trying to help out as much as I can, you know? Oh yeah, you could do it though. Though the guys are wonderful and you know, sky's the limit. That's how I look at it. Young sky's the sky is the limit. Even if you were old, the sky's the limit. You can do right. what you want to do for us, your craft, and, you know, just do it. Don't let me call you back. We're going to get there. Yep. I thank you. I thank you so much. This was a wonderful interview, and um, I look forward to seeing you. I will see you soon. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome, darling.